Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my Norsham anniversary sale haul. Apologies that this is so delayed. There was an issue with the Corey company and it sailed through customs as well, but there was like a communications issue. I don't even know what happened, but my order finally arrived and I am so incredibly excited about everything. Everything that I'm showing here today is currently in stock. Most of these items are in stock in my exact colors. Um, a few of them are available in alternative colors, but everything that I'm showing here today is currently available. I do have a lot of items in my order as well which are currently sold out or with minimal sizing so let me know in the comment section do you still want to see that. I'm happy to show it, I'm happy not to show it. For me I always want to see things that I can actually shop but I also appreciate that you know some of you have placed your orders already so maybe you want to see some styling ideas or otherwise you can maybe go in store as well. So let me know in the comment section, do you only want to see in-stock items or are you happy to see everything? I really don't mind either way. But for today, everything is currently in stock, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first up is my blanket from Barefoot Dreams. I said I wasn't going to get one this year because I already have three. They are my favorite blankets ever though. They are dotted around the house and it's just as well we have three, otherwise me and Dan would probably fight over them. They are so soft and cozy. Wasn't planning on getting one this year, but then I saw this colorway and I was like, nope, I need that in my life. I already have the leopard print one in the cream and white, which I love, definitely my favorite blanket. And then I saw this stunning kind of dusky pink and white version and I just thought it was so pretty. So official name is Faded Rose and Cream. Shockingly, I actually think this color is still in stock, which I am so, so surprised about. Usually the leopard print blankets go so quickly. So I don't know if everyone's already bought theirs and so they're just more available or if they really stocked up because they knew how popular they were. But this one in this colorway is currently in stock and I am just so excited about it. I am gonna unwrap it so you can see the whole thing like the fabric is just out of this world and oh my goodness look at that colorway so so pretty I do have the ring light so I will show it kind of in natural lighting but it is just gorgeous so on one side and um, the background is the dusky pink and then on the other side it is the cream so you can choose the dose of pinkness that you want I guess and I just think this is gorgeous so so happy I decided to go for it oh my goodness it is just so lovely Cannot get enough of these blankets, just such a great one. Next up is denim and the Nordstrom anniversary sale is always when I buy my denim. I make a beeline for the jeans section. It's when I stock up and it's always just such a great one because you can get your really amazing quality designer denim for a fraction of the price. So I have here my two pairs of Joe's jeans that I ordered and these were actually really, really well priced. I do think I have one pair of Joe's jeans before but I'm not as familiar with them. But the fit on the model looked amazing so I decided to give them a go and I'm so happy with them. So the light one is really nice. I'd say that they are a bit more of a low rise. They're not like super, super low, but definitely not a high rise one. It is a true skinny jean. The wash is like a medium light blue, I'd say. So not super light at all, but it's like a nice kind of middle of the road, medium wash. Really lovely. There's a decent amount of stretch, but it still feels like a very substantial weight denim. And I just thought these were so nice. Really nice length as well, so I don't think I'm gonna have to get these cropped. And I'm just a huge, huge fan of these. So really happy, and um, it's called the Vintage Stretch. And these are just everything that I kind of hoped for. So absolutely thrilled with these. And then I also have this dark denim pair also from Joe's Jeans as well. These are so nice. They fit so well. These are a bit more of a high rise one. Not super crazy high rise, um, but definitely a bit higher than the lighter colored ones. And these are a little bit thinner as well. I'd say there's probably a little bit more stretch on these. The other ones are stretchy too, but because the denim is a little bit thicker, it just doesn't feel as kind of flexible. Whereas these are super flexible very stretchy but it feels like there's enough compression that they're not going to kind of lose their shape and I am just so crazy excited about these. I did also get my AG ones um, but those weren't very well stocked so again don't know if you want to see those but these ones are fantastic quite a bit cheaper than the AG ones as well and I am just so thrilled with the fit. So really, really happy with both of these. I feel like denim can always be really hit and miss in terms of whether they're flattering, whether they fit you well, and these are just both so great. 
Next up is the bag that I got. So this is the Troy Birch Castlon, I think it is. Um, I got mine in the Devon Sand, I believe the color name is. It's like a light pink. There's also a black and I think a green as well. I obviously went for the light pink. This one was at the bottom of the box though, so it's a little bit squished. I'm gonna try and pan it out so it doesn't look quite so flat. I was so shocked when I saw it right the bottom, but it is absolutely gorgeous. A really, really nice size. So you do have the chain and it only has a leather handle on one bit so you can wear it on the shoulder or cross body you do have a Tory Burch logo right there and then it opens up with a magnetic closure rather than a button which is actually really nice and then on the inside you have the Tory Burch stamp you have card slots on the back there which was a nice touch I thought you have an organizer in the middle and then on the other side you have one pocket as well so no zip pockets they're all open or otherwise card slots. Um, I would say, so I actually looked at the reviews, I was kind of waiting for everything to arrive and wanted to see what people thought of the items that I ordered. Lots of people commented on the chain and I can see what they mean in terms of it not being like a really heavyweight one, but it's more, it is different from my Kira and I will kind of show the difference, but I feel like the Kira is overly shiny, which I don't actually love. This one has a bit more of a frosted appearance. Lots of people said it looked cheap, I don't feel like it looks cheap, I just think it's a different look and I actually quite like the frosted appearance. I do think that one area where they did cheap out a bit was the lining. So even though my Kira does have a fabric lining, it's like a nice fabric lining, so almost like a herringbone kind of pattern. Here it just feels like kind of a cheap nylon. So. For me, the chain doesn't bother me. I actually quite like the look of it. And I often feel that like really heavyweight chains are just really overrated because it just adds the weight of the bag. So I'm never that fussed about having really heavyweight chains, but I do feel like they did kind of cheap out on the lining. So could have done better there. Nevertheless, I am happy with my purchase. I think it is so beautiful. I already did a quick try on and I just think it's a really lovely classic looking bag. So um, I will report back if you guys are interested in hearing more. I will try and use it fairly immediately to kind of get a feel for it. But so far, I really love the look and can't wait to start using it. Next up are slippers, and it was on my to buy list to get a new pair of slippers. I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any recommendations, and so many of you said the Ugg slipper, which I do already have, and I do like it, but it's quite a heavy weight slipper, and I don't always want a heavy weight slipper, especially in summer as well. Like, I don't mind fluffy, but I just feel like if they make a lot of noise when you walk, which is why I don't always like the really heavy ones. So I wanted another light pair. I already have one, but they're very, very worn out saw these and I thought they were adorable. Again, reviews were a little bit iffy, but these were like 16 pounds or dollars, I forget which one, but they weren't too expensive, so I thought it was worth a try. And they are so soft and cozy. I'm not sure how fluffy they will remain. I think that's what a lot of the reviews were saying, but again, for the money, I'm not expecting them to last me, you know, decades or anything like that. And they are just so, so soft. I can't even describe how cozy they are. So lovely, they're very, very plush, so it just feels like a hug for your foot when you start wearing them. I went for the white, I think they also come in a few different colors as well. Um, my size, I think I got the medium and I'm typically a seven and a half a US size. They fit great, I'm super happy with them, so. I mean, time will tell how well they wear, but I think for the money, they seem to be fairly good quality and they are so unbelievably soft and cozy. Next up is a sweater that I got. So this one is from Vince. So it definitely was a little bit more money, but I saw the color and I just thought it was so stunning. This one is in the blush pink and I can't remember if that's the kind of official name, but it's essentially a blush pink. Very, very simple crew neck sweater. It is a flat design in terms of the crew neck as well. So very nice if you do like to wear jewelry. It's a kind of, I'd say it's a bit more on the lighter weight side. It's definitely not a chunky knit. It's not so thin that it's not gonna provide any warmth at all, but I'd say this is more of a layering piece rather than kind of, you know, a heavy duty, heavy weight knit sweater but really, really lovely. The color is just so gorgeous and just a really nice, easy fit, you know, not too small, not too big, you know, it is streamlined, so it can look very sharp. Possibly wear this to work as well, otherwise just very nice casually. And I thought this was lovely and the color is just unbelievably beautiful. I believe this also comes in like a cream beige color. If pink isn't your thing, there is one other color as well, but I forget which one. I, again, obviously just went straight for the pink, but I thought this was adorable. Nice fabric as well, and just a really nice quality sweater. 
Next up is a blazer and this is actually the only blazer I ended up getting because unfortunately they cancelled my order for the large Rose blazer. I was very sad but nevertheless happy that I was able to get this one. Just a very simple black blazer. This is from One Dot State or One State I actually think it's pronounced as. This one has a ruching on the sleeve which I read the reviews and clearly no one saw the ruching on the sleeves because everyone's like I didn't realise I was ruching. I love ruching, there's ruching on my Cinca set blazers and I just love the look. So I'm a huge fan of it, but obviously if you don't like ruching on the sleeves, this one has ruching. Definitely going to be a kind of personal preference there. This one is a kind of faux double breasted blazer. So it doesn't kind of button up as a double breasted one. It actually just kind of hooks in the middle. So it's actually a single breasted style, but it has the double breasted buttons. I don't mind that because I pretty much never wear my blazers as a kind of fastened up, so I always just let them hang loose. The fit is actually very, very nice. And again, I feel like tailoring at the end cell, especially at the lower end, can be a little bit hit and miss, but this one I love. It is lined as well with a very nice kind of fabric on the inside and a very nice length as well. So really perfect if you like to team yours with denim, just a really, really nice kind of casual smart look. And yeah, I'm just really happy with this. Just a really nice fit. And for the price, I think it was really good value. Next up is an item that was featured in the N-Sale by actually Audit here from the UK with electronics. It just made more sense to do so, but this is currently featured on sale within the anniversary sale. And I'm very excited about it. It is a click and grow smart garden. I actually saw this when I was kind of browsing the home section. And so I did a search for the UK and they do have them in the UK as well. And this one comes or is included in the end sale in white, gray, and maybe black. There's one of the color. I just wanted the white. And if you're not familiar with these, they are basically little mini self-watering gardens, mainly for herbs. So I really wanted to put this on my windowsill. Obviously we have a garden now, so I could definitely kind of plant proper herbs, but if I'm being honest, I'm not much of a gardener, so I wanted something really, really foolproof. And this one just has amazing reviews, and I love the idea of having fresh herbs. I've really been getting more into my cooking, but trying to maintain fresh herbs all the time is just so tricky, especially when you're trying to cook a variety of meals and just not constantly having the same thing. So I love the idea of this. I don't know if you can mix and match. I'm definitely planning on doing um, mint leaves here because we have a lot of tzatziki, so you need mint for that. But if it's possible, then I also wanna do rosemary, maybe thyme. I'm just incredibly excited. So I am going to get cracking this weekend and set this up, could not be more excited. Um, I will kind of show you guys if you're interested in a future video, but yeah, very, very excited to get started with this. Next up are the boots that I got and oh my goodness, so excited for these. I feel like I'm saying that about everything, but I just feel like I really lucked out with so much of my order, especially ordering online, you know, so many things can go wrong, but. I'm just so delighted with so much of what I got. These boots are gorgeous. These are the Steve Madden ones, so they weren't too crazily priced. Very, very nice quality. I believe my color is very low on sizes, but they do have a similar color, which is like a gray, and some lovely person uploaded a photo from like a kind of in-store snap of the gray, and it looks gorgeous. So if you wanna see a kind of real life shot of the gray, scroll down to the comments, and then you'll see the photo. Looks super nice. This one does have a chunk heel very very comfortable to wear so far it does have a zip on the back it is a bit more of a higher one and then you have this great dip on the side so you show a little bit of foot and I just thought these were so nice I love the pointed toe as well I feel like they're very very flattering really cute with skirts and dresses but also really cute with denim as well the suede seems to be a lovely quality I am definitely going to spray these with scotch guard it is quite a light color but yeah, really happy with these. Such a nice boot and really, really good for the price actually, especially Steve Madden. And I've had a few pairs in Steve Madden. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not, but these actually seem to be really, really nice quality. Next up is my CC top. So this is basically the exact same top I have in the longer sleeve version, but a puff sleeve, short sleeve version. So cute, this comes in a few different colors. I pretty much always go for the black and I probably should have experimented a bit more, but I love the black one so much. They do a whole bunch of really pretty colors if more colorful tops are your thing. What I love about these are the little Swiss dot patterns on the sleeves. Really lovely, really, really subtle and just very, very wearable. Really cute if you wanted 
to pair it with a skirt, but otherwise I tend to just wear mine with jeans, you know, whether that's denim shorts or kind of full on denim, just a really nice top to slip on. Great for Zoom calls as well, because you know, they are fairly conservative, but they have like a little bit of detail. And then the fabric on the body is just so stretchy and comfortable. It feels like you're wearing loungewear, but it is like a proper nice looking top. So really happy with this would highly recommend both the short sleeve one and the long sleeve one. They're just so comfy to wear and really pretty, just kind of effortless tops. Next up are the bras that I got in and both of these are from Notori. I've spoken about the brand before. They're really high quality and I'd say they make up probably like 80% of the underwear that I wear on a daily basis. I constantly repurchase whenever they wear out, which is not very often because they are very well made because they're just so comfortable. They look really nice as well and just kind of tick all the boxes. So definitely worth a look if you're in need of kind of updating your underwear drawer. I have two pieces here. So one is a bit more of a lacy one and this is just so unbelievably pretty. Very similar to the other nude one that I have except this one doesn't have lace around the body straps but it does have this beautiful lace detail around the top. Really, really lovely, very subtle. You also have the little kind of gold Notori coin right there, adjustable straps as you'd expect. And just a really, really lovely nude option. Very practical, but also very pretty to look at. And then the other one that I got was billed as a sports bralette. Um, but for me, I definitely would not use this for sports. Even really kind of low impact exercises like Pilates and yoga, I just don't think that there's enough here. And that's coming from someone who is quite small busted, like, I just definitely would not wear this for any kind of exercise. But in terms of lounging around, it is very, very comfortable indeed. Nude, so it kind of just disappears under clothing. You do have adjustable straps, and this is a really nice lounging one. There is a lot of stretch as well, which is kind of part of the reason why it wouldn't be suitable for sports, but is also what makes it wonderful for lounging. So if you're after a sports bra, I definitely would not recommend this, but if you're just after a really, really comfy lounging bra, this one is lovely. And then finally, I have two sweatshirts as well. I wanted to get some more kind of loungy pieces at home, and the n ones are always at such great value, and they do generally tend to be quite fleecy and soft in my experience. So the first one I got is from Zella. I'm a big fan of Zella. I have a few pieces from the line, and they never let me down. This one, Oh my goodness, the inside is the softest fleece I have ever felt. It is just crazy cozy and soft. I am so excited about this. I know it's just a plain sweatshirt, but I really, really like comfy things at home. Um, so very simple, it is a bit more of an oversized one. You have pockets on the side as well, which I actually really like. They don't show on the front, so it doesn't give you that kind of proper hoodie look, but just really functional, just kind of popped on the side. Absolutely love this. I just went for the very, very plain and boring black, but you do have other colors. I went for the extra small. I'd say it's like a kind of true oversized fit. Definitely not massive, so if you did want it a bit bigger then I would probably say to size up, but I'm happy with this fit and just so excited about how comfortable this is. Just so, so nice and soft. And then the last piece is this gray hoodie. So this one is definitely more of a kind of thinner weight one. I did see a review saying it was cropped and for me, I don't personally think that this is cropped. It's definitely not as long as the Zella one, but the Zella one is like an oversized sweatshirt. So I guess it kind of depends what you want. This one is not fleece on the inside though. So it's more just like a kind of regular it's not terry cloth, but it's just kind of a regular sweatshirt without that fleece lining. So definitely more of a thinner weight one. I'd say this would be good, you know, even during the warmer months when you just want to cover up, maybe to take off the chill at night, but you don't want something fleecy. This would be perfect, but it's definitely not heavyweight enough to be a kind of proper winter sweatshirt. Nevertheless, I really like it. Nice light gray color. And um, again, these do come in a few different shades. I just wanted something really neutral and classic. You do have the pockets on the front there and the nice kind of chunkier ribbon, which I actually quite like. Gives it kind of that vintage look. And yeah, really happy with both of these sweatshirts. I can never have enough cozy loungewear, so I am so happy about both of these. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. I will also pop in sizes if you wanna use that as a reference point. If you have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment and let me know if you do wanna see the rest of my order or if you only wanna see in-stock things. As I said, I'm really easy either way, so let me know what you would prefer. If you've been enjoying my end cell videos, please do give this a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.
Thank you.